For aka Mr. Ibu, turned 62 on the 17th of October 2023, and his family surrounded him in a private hospital where he celebrated his birthday, or rather, where he marked his birthday. The video kind of talked at the hearts of a lot of Nigerians. He could barely talk because he is presently incoherent. <laughs> And the day after his birthday, being the 18th of October 2023, a video resurfaced of Mr. Ibu asking for help because, according to him, his legs may be amputated anytime soon. So, my darling viewers, subscribers, returning, non returning, as long as you can hear my voice please do donate what you can to the account you will see on the screen please let us help mr ibu not when he passes he will start writing tests of how much of an amazing actor he was let's not start i mean don't wait for tomorrow 500 naira 200 naira no matter what you have please do donate so he will be treated because we don't want to see our legend you know, it's pretty sad that it has gotten to the point where he, had to have, where he has to seek for help publicly, but it is what it is. So please, let's help as much as we can. Thank you. So just listen to it, the video and, you know, do accordingly as your heart leads, as your spirit leads. Hello, my name is John Ikezko Gafo, Mr. Ibu. I've been down for so so, so, so many weeks. All I'm hoping is your prayers and assistance. I've been in the hospital so as I speak to you. I'm still lying down in the hospital. The medical director of this hospital said the, that the best solution is in case his new idea didn't work, the best idea is to cut off my leg. Just see me. If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? Where will I go to? Where, where will I go for me? Please, please, be on the prayers for me. Talk to God Almighty. I don't want my leg to be cut off. Please. Thank you so much. God bless. Dear Nigerians, first of all, good day from whenever you're watching this video. We want to appeal that, um, at this point, as a family, we want to appeal that people should come 
So that is it at the rescue. So for the past two weeks, Daddy has been very down. We took him to the hospital. Personally, I've been sorting out the bills, thinking it's something I can do alone. Mommy has been at the hospital for like two weeks now. The kids are at home. We've been doing everything humanly possible to make sure that he gets back on his feet. You know, as a family, we, t we thought it's something we can actually do. We thought we could sort it out on our own and he'll be fine. But he's not getting better. Some days it looks like it's better. The other days it looks like it's getting worse. As we speak now, we are still at the hospital and they want to refer us to another hospital because it's not getting better. And we are at one of the best private hospitals in Lagos. So we are feeling that if there are any individuals or any organization that can at least fly daddy to abroad to get a better treatment, because this is not the first time this daddy is down like this. Daddy has been down, up, down, or back on his feet, down again. So if he's not getting better here in one of the best private hospitals in Lagos, I think we need people that will come together, if possible, fly him abroad so that he can get better treatment. As a father, he has been fighting for himself. Like he's been fighting. He wants to live. He wants to fight this. He has been trying to be strong. So please, we are appealing to anybody that can reach out, please, as you see this video, if you have the capacity to help daddy, personally, I'm exhausted. Personally, this is the bill they just gave us from the hospital. We have been the ones sorting. I personally have been the ones sorting out this bill. But I'm drained financially. I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. Please, I'm calling out for help. <laughs> My fellow Nigerians, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Please, I am begging you people. My husband needs your help right now. He's been down. He's in pains. He has been crying. Please, come to help him. He needs to help him now. He needs you people right now. As a wife, you know, because of the children, because of people around him, please, my people, please come and help us. We need you people now. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, please help daddy. Help us save daddy, please. Thank you so much. Also, please, if you can support daddy in prayers, add him in your prayers. Add him in your good thoughts, your best wishes. All we want is for daddy to be fine and back to his feet again. Those that can support financially, please do not relent. We are hoping and we are trusting that together we will help you win this battle. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. He needs your prayers now. Please, my people. Let's pray for him. He needs you. He needs you, people. Please. Please, my people. I beg in the name of God. Please help me. Thank you.